Hey, Steve Bignani here, messing around in my garage with a set of 426 Hemi heads. Now, you know, I love all cars, but Mopars are my core, mostly because of the 426 Hemi. I mean, back in the day, 1964, when it was launched, it was kind of Detroit's doomsday engine. Ford took a while to catch up, and General Motors, well, they had nothing with the 409. Of course, the 396 and 65, well, they, they caught up pretty quick. But if you have a 426 Hemi head, keep in mind, these heads weigh 58 pounds each bare, which is 10 pounds less than a 396 or a 427 Chevy Big Block head. So that's a fact. They look really heavy, but they're not that bad. But again, 64 and 65 Hemi heads are unique because they have a flat end right here that takes a very special and unique valve cover, which is also flat on the end, right like that. Now, 1966 through 71, Chrysler redesigned the end of the head. They had this curve. Why? Well, when the Street Hemi came out in 66, they wanted to sell it to as many people as possible, so they made power steering an option. Well, the power steering pump bolts to the left-hand front corner of the engine, and it doesn't clear the 64 and 5K head. So, in order to make room for it, well, the 66 up street Hemi heads have this curve. Now, that shouldn't be a big deal. Well, it is. If you're looking for valve cover gaskets, you want to make sure you get the right gaskets. This is a 64 or 5K head gasket. This is a 66 speed Hemi head. If you try to use these things together, you're going to get an oil leak. Check this out. That's because there's a gap right here where there's a major difference in the shape. So, if you've got a 64 or 5 Hemi, you want to use this type of gasket because the 66 stuff won't work and vice versa. Be warned.